Hello everyone, it's Marissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a little pumpkin spice latte makeup tutorial. Um, I'm super excited for fall. I actually just picked these up at Target, these enamel pins. Like the one to five dollar spot, which you saw the little mirror in my favorites video. Killing it. I love it. Of course now it feels like summer again because I sweated through filming this entire tutorial. Halo Eye Action using mostly the Lime Crime Venus palette, which I still keep the plastic on it because I want the mirror to stay nice, but mostly using that and the ABH Modern Renaissance Goat palette. Um, so yeah, and this is my shirt today, little nap queen, so jazzed about that. So keep watching if you want to see how I got that look. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Shameless self-promotion, yada yada yada. All the products will be in the description down below. So if you like this, keep watching. So I have already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. And I already did my eyebrows just to save some time. We're going in first with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette in Tempera, going all over the eyelid, uh, all the way up to the brow bone. So next we are going in with Burnt Orange as our transition shade, and we're just going to use windshield wipers in the crease as we, you know, try and start this smoky eye. So here I am going back in with the ELF C blending brush to make sure it's perfect. Next we're going to take some scotch tape and put it on our hands just to get a little bit of the oil so it's not as sticky on your face. So this is going to make like a nice cool clean wing. So we want to go in and make sure that these pieces of tape are nice and even. Looks like it. And we'll roll with it. So next we're going in with the Lime Crime Venus palette, and we're going to start with Divine, which is that beautiful kind of mushroom shade, and we're going to go all over the lid, blend a little bit into the crease, which we're going to go over this later, but I like it as a good base under other colors, which I think this might be my most used one. Looking good. So we're going to go in with the Venus Pal again with Creation and our Elf C brush. Just blow it off a little bit and go right into that crease and really darken it up. This is such a nice like pumpkin spice shade. Ooh! And don't be afraid to go all the way to the edge of the tape because, you know, it's there to, you know, create that shape. So you can even like brush a little onto the tape. See how we're getting like that nice shape? Oh! Killing it! Now after a good 10 years of blending, we are going to go in with Real Gar from the Renaissance palette on a smudger brush, I think that is, from Target. Um, so we're just going to go over Divine. Um, yeah, like it adds that nice smoky depth. So we're going to go back in with that e.l.f. $1 blending brush with the Burnt Orange and we're going to blend that out up to the brow. Uh, we're going to go in later and lighten it up, but just, you know, we're living and we're learning. So you're going to take your tapered e.l.f. brush, uh, links down below, and go under the eye with Creation which again, we go over this again later, but this is like laying the groundwork. I realized it was definitely easier to do once the tape was off, but this is a learning experience. Take your Wet n Wild, um, I think that's a fluffy blending brush, with the shade Aura from the Venus palette, and blend, 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 blend until the end of time, Die, 
blend some more, maybe one day get into heaven, but just keep, keep blending. Just never stop blending. This probably took like four minutes and I edited a ton of it out. Oh my gosh, you're done blending, keep dancing. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Primavera on that smudge brush and we are going to foil it using the e.l.f. makeup mist and set. This is the regular one. Make sure it's not the matte or illuminating one. Uh, and we're just gonna go on the center of our lids to make that nice halo eye look, which I don't like doing just a stripe. I think it came out like a little more triangular, but that's okay. So we're just gonna keep going in and getting it on with this eye, I had trouble, uh, I just had to keep like misting and setting it, but you know, we'll get there. Oh my god, the time has come to peel off the tape, and look at that, wow! So go in with an e.l.f. fluffy brush, I'm just trying to soften the line a little bit so it doesn't look like I did the tape hack. Uh, which I did have trouble with, so I went in with my e.l.f. blending brush, and you can see my anguish. I went back in with the tapered smudge brush and creation that I mentioned earlier um, to do the under eye. It took a little bit, but you want to take this slow because you don't want to poke yourself in the eye. Yeah, as you can see, it did take me a little while, but I did want to be cautious going back in with that wet and wild fluffy blending brush to continue softening that line, going back in with Primavera, not foiling at this time, but just doing the inner corner and uh, blending it into the lower lash line with Creation just a little bit so it looks cohesive. So eyeliner time using the Maybelline Master Precise felt tip, which I love how precise this is, but this is a little bit older, so I have bent the tip of it, so I'm going to be using another eyeliner to do the wing, which is the Seraphine Botanicals Liquid Coal Eyeliner. This came in my Ipsy last month, and I'm a pretty big fan. And then here is a super fast motion of me getting the most uneven cat eyes ever, it's like every time I want to do a look, I just cannot make them even to save my life. But, you know, whatever. Uneven eyeliner club. Alright, commence curling eyelashes and mascara. This is the Colossal Express by Maybelline. I really, I really like this one. Not too bad. I feel like I haven't found my Holy Grail mascara yet. Yeah, I don't know. One day we'll get there. So next we're going in with the NYX Basic Black Eyeliner just on my lower waterline. We're going to use the Max, Fast, Max Factor Master Precise Max. Why so many Maxes? Jeez, I get it. It's maximum on my lower lashes because I'm that extra. So next we're going in with the Silky Fit Concealer BB by Yada, which was also in the August Ipsy. Uh, I really like this. It's very light coverage, but makes my skin feel protected. Um, and, I mean, it's a good base because it does have that silicone -y feel. Then we're going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from the Passport to Bronze set with their flat bookie brush. And, like, as you can tell, I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm a vampire, so I don't really know how to bronze. Um, but, you know, whatever. Going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. I don't know why I try and show the details because I can't every time. This is a Sonia Kashuk Tapered Fluffy Brush, which my highlighter is poppin'. I love Flexitarian. I think I wear it like every day. Okay, we got that nice glow going on down the nose, little in the Cupid's bow. Okay, ooh. Then the Kat Von D Translucent Locket Powder and a Velour Puff, which these are the Up and Up brand. They come in packs of three. So we're just going to tap some into the lid so gently and then pat it onto the skin to lock in all of that um, great BB cream and bronze and highlighter. 
Okay, we're gonna do lips with the Lime Crime Velveteen in Pumpkin. How apropos for this. So I'm doing the X on the Cupid's bow, but like honestly, you know, it's it actually came out pretty even today, so I shouldn't say too much, but lately I cannot line my lips with the edge of a doe foot applicator, but today was just my lucky day with it. And I love this, because they dry matte and they stay down so long. Which it does look a little bit bright, but on my vampire skin tone it looks a lot more red. Could have mixed with squash. Well, time for the final reveal. Fix the bangs. Ooh, check it. Ooh, love it, love it. I'll get it. So, I am really digging how this came out, and I'm super happy with this pumpkin spice latte look. Ooh! Thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm so jazzed about this. This is the first time I ever attempted a halo eye, and I don't think it came out too bad. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a video soon.